Hi, I'm Diala Mackey. Tonight is the event that we've been waiting for. It's the launch of Souk Fashion. Celebrity stylists Rob Zangardi and Marielle Hain will be walking down the red carpet. Of course, there are the stylists of J-Lo and Rihanna, so don't go anywhere. Rob and Marielle styled a lot of Dubai socialites, so let's see the interview. Hi Rob, how are you? Nice to see you, how are you? I'm very good. Beautiful. What are you wearing? Um, I, Ralph Lauren, kind of head to toe. Tell us about your stay in Dubai. How would you see the city so my far? First time here, and we did some of the touristy stuff. Tomorrow we have one small kind of little day off, and we're going to go um, do a safari. So I'm excited about that. Can you tell us more about your collaboration with Souk Fashion and how important was it for you to yeah. come to the region and to support the young and upcoming designers in Dubai? Of course. Um, well, we, um, we came here to help launch and really excited about just the opportunity of them bringing new designers here and even introducing us to some new designers as well. So it's been really fun and the product is really good, as you can see. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's been really fun. Can you tell us more about the styling sessions that you did yesterday with a number of Dubai socialites? And I was lucky yeah. that uh, I worked with you guys as well. So many beautiful women. And um, we had a couple girls swing by um, the hotel and we did some fittings and tried on a bunch of different outfits and picked the best ones. And they'll all be here walking the red carpet tonight. <laughs> Stunning. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a love dress that's available at Souk Fashion. Of course. Mm -hmm. it's and jewelry cool. by you. Jewelry by me, yes. So tell us, how was your stay in Dubai so far? You've been here for a couple of days couple now. Of days. Yeah, it's been amazing. I have a lot of, I've been here before once and it was in 2006. So coming back now, it's amazing to see how the city has grown and changed and all the opportunities, especially with fashion now. It's really exciting. So how do you feel being here in Dubai with Souk Fashion and, you know, the people that you met, uh, the celebrities and the socialites that you uh, styled? I mean, everybody's been so amazingly nice and, you know, a warm welcome. It's been really fun. It's great to see all the different women and everyone has different styles. So, you know, it's really exciting to work with Souk Fashion as well because they have high-end designers and they have, you know, less expensive brands. And that's how we work, you know, by mixing and matching, using high and low. So it's great to be able to, to bring that to this region. What's next for you after uh, Dubai? Um, we have Shakira with The Voice and we have... Gwen Stefani and No Doubt are performing at the AMAs and have a bunch of European performances. So as soon as we land in LA, we have to start shopping right away. So enjoy your time here then yes, tonight. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. How do you see the impact of souk fashion on the fashion industry in the Arab world? It's going to have two impacts. One on the fashion industry and two on the internet industry. You know, we led the, inter in the internet industry by uh, with Maktoub, the success of Maktoub. Souk is going to be the next huge success story in the internet industry. And we're taking it now into the fashion industry. We're really excited. This is a great uh, day for everyone. What do you think about the fact that Rob and Marielle are styling all these uh, Dubai socialites? I think it's great. Uh, with Souk Fashion, we're going to introduce international uh, great brands and fashion to the Arab world. We're also going to introduce Arab designers and brands to the world as well. Hi, it's so good to see you. Hi, nice to see you again. How are you? I'm very good. I was very happy to meet you the first time when we were interviewing for Mashahir, my show. And today you look stunning. Thanks. What are you wearing? I'm wearing from my own brand, Bebo Emilio. My design. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, because it will be in, with uh, Souk Fashion. Yes, I make something really different. If someone, uh, the lady, she want to wear, wear short and she feel a little bit shy, she can put like a abaya cotton. 
It's the first time for the weather. Yeah, and GCC we make the cotton abaya with sequins. So it's a little bit different. Did you pick up your own clothes or you had Robin Mariel style you? I heard that you had a styling session as well. I had a great time. I uh, yeah, I met Robin Mariel. It made me feel like absolute Hollywood. And yeah, they were great. They uh, didn't uh, work me over and uh, made me ready for tonight. We were styled yesterday by Rob and Marielle. Tell us more about this experience. Well, actually, it was uh, quite fun and uh, interesting. Uh, we went around uh, looking at the looks and we spoke a bit and then they, we decided to, to go for uh, Abir Suwaidi's uh, dress, which is quite casual and uh, uh, if, if you remove these uh, uh, shoulder pads, uh, if not, it's dressy once you put them on. So it was quite a nice experience. Can you tell us more about the event tonight? How exciting is it for you? And this whole transition from offline to online? I mean, we're really excited. Uh, Souk Fashion adds a whole new dimension to what we offer on the internet. Souk is well known as an e-commerce site, but adding the fashion aspect to it allows for so much creativity to be showcased, be it the latest trend in terms of fashion, in terms of affordable fashion, as well as really featuring the local artists. So there's a local twist. We always do things local. We believe in global concept but local execution and that's what makes really the, the site and the appeal and the team really very exciting. So it all started by the whole concept of soup.com is doing amazing and we have like 8 million visits and we said okay well we have to sell something more than just electronics and fashion is just the right thing to do because it's a huge industry but the online business of it is just underdeveloped. So we said, how do we differentiate? And we started getting the new upcoming young designers who are not yet in the region, who want to be in our region because we're such you know, a big and important region. And also we contacted all the Arabic designers and said, guys, this is the home for you now. And that's how this project came together. And now we have a hundred designers on Souk Fashion. more about your collaboration here today with Souk Fashion and your latest collection that is uh, going to be on the website. Yeah, um, first of all I'm very excited about it because it's all about designers who have aspired to work with celebrities and one of the key things is we're trying to build on the Middle Eastern market and I think what they've done is a great idea and a great concept and one of the key things is globally women by evening were online so I'm sure this is going to be an amazing platform for us and for me specifically for the brand. Where did you get inspired by, I'm guessing, films? Uh, you're scary because the story is I used to watch black and white movies with my grandmother when I was young and I used to ask her, what colors are these dresses? And she used to say, let's play a game. So we'd say red, green, orange, blue. And then I decided to create a collection of black and white very much inspired by black and white movies because I think old Hollywood is the best Hollywood and that's why I created a black and white collection and you are wearing one of them. 